Duplex waveforms are obtained segmentally throughout the leg and compared for degradation. They are correlated with velocities to confirm a stenosis. The concept of AVI Doppler phasicity, or peaks and pits, holds true for duplex waveforms. Triphasic looks and sounds triphasic still. The difference is with duplex you can see the vessel and can confirm it is widely patent. It also records the waveform on a velocity scale, which helps grade the percentage of stenosis. However, if there is a stiffening and degradation of phasicity, you can image the area and tell if there is plaque buildup or if it is due to wall calcification. Loss of phasicity occurs in stages. Each stage represents a different severity of the disease. These are clearly seen on duplex and categorized as pre-stenosis, intrastenosis, and post-stenosis waveforms. The technologist will begin at the level of the common femoral artery, or CFA, and continue to move distally down the leg to thoroughly evaluate all the main arteries. Similar to ABIs, multiphasic waveforms are normal. If there is a blockage in the leg, triphasic waveforms can usually be obtained only proximal to a significant stenosis. Here, there are triphasic waveforms at the CFA. This also indicates normal aortoiliac inflow because the CFA is distal to it. Arteries distal to a significant stenosis will not be triphasic. Further down the leg, at the mid-superficial femoral artery, or SFA, the waveforms are still multiphasic, which indicates normal flow. However, at the popliteal artery, this waveform is produced. Compare the normal CFA triphasic waveform to this intrastenosis popliteal waveform and notice a spectral broadening, which is snowy filling of the waveform window due to turbulence produced by the stenosis. Also notice the velocity increased to 576 centimeters a second, compared to 58 centimeters a second previously seen in the SFA. This happens because as the diameter of the lumen decreases from stenosis, the velocity of the blood increases. Velocities will be discussed in more detail in Lesson 3. Waveforms distal to a significant stenosis are usually monophasic. The area below the baseline on this waveform is simply phasic vein Doppler interference, which is blood flow in the veins. Compare this patient's ABI test to the duplex. The dampened monophasic ankle waveforms and abnormal indices suggest stenosis, but it doesn't give a location. The duplex confirms the blockage location is in the popliteal artery. Occasionally in duplex, a Doppler brewery occurs. This is from the vibration of a vessel that is severely stenotic. If this is seen but the velocities are not elevated, keep searching nearby as the vibration is usually coming from a stenosis. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.